all right we got frostbite on the scale as you can see and without me in the truck so let's see if I stand on the scale let's see if I can reach over fam i hope everybody's having a blessed day out there it is a beautiful day down here in basically south georgia we are at silver dollar dragway in reynolds georgia where we've been racing frostbite for the last few times out i think we got a good day today guys uh it's kind of windy but the temperature right now is holding out at about 59 to 60. we got about another hour before we start racing um Last time we came out, it was 68 to almost 70 degrees, and we had a thousand DA when we ran the 1011. So today, I haven't even checked, but DA has to be a lot better. Maybe, maybe half of what we had last time, maybe better. I don't know, but it is extremely windy. So this is what we got going on. We got frostbite, definitely, of course. We got the whole crew out here today. We got Zorro, the Challenger. This is going to be the first pass on Zorro with the new FRP 93 tune. Um, we're still only on the first tune. We haven't even logged the car to, you know, fine tune it. So we're going to try to do that today. We got Project Storm. Hopefully we can break into the 12s with Project Storm today finally. And uh, that's our goal for that truck. We're going to try to run it on the original pulley that we have now. And of course, our goal today for Frostbite is to keep it together and see if we can finally run a nine. So, so everything is the same as it was last time. We haven't even changed the tune, but my idiot self forgot to bring my race battery. <laughs> so we have a full weight battery that we're gonna be racing on today. Instead of my lightweight battery that only weighs like three pounds, um, so now we got like a 50 pound battery in the truck. So that could that could, that may that may uh, that might sink us right there. I don't know. We'll see. It's 50 more pounds going to be a big deal. I hope not. We definitely got better air. So cross our fingers. Let's hope that uh, my dumb mistake doesn't kill us today. So let's see. So we're going to go tech in and uh, get ready to race. Um, we're gonna probably weigh the truck again that time I, this time I can actually show you guys uh, what it what it weighs um, last time we was out with the other battery it was coming in at I think it said 4620 with me in the truck so we get to see what it weighs with the bigger battery heavier battery so let's go tech in see how fat this girl is all right we got frostbite on the scale as you can see and without me in the truck Definitely battery makes a difference. We're 4455 guys. 4455. 4620 with me in the truck. Um, so let's see if I stand on the scale. Let's see if I can reach over. Yep. With the stock battery in the truck. So we're definitely heavier.
Mopar fam. We are so close. We're getting there. We're like crawling. We're crawling. The uh, mile per hour on their uh, on their uh, software, I guess, is messed up, so it's not reading the mile per hour right on the right lane. Unfortunately, that was our first pass. But here's the ticket. So storm was in the left lane, frostbite in the right lane. We had the best 60 foot we've ever had in our entire life. We broke into the one threes, guys. One three eighty eight. Uh, we ran a 10.088, and that's without my race battery. We're actually about 50 pounds heavier today than we were last trip out. Um, we ran a 10.11 last trip out. We went 10.088. We're so close, guys. Storm broke into the 12s on the same pulley that we've been running. 12.970 at 104, so hell yeah for Storm. And uh, heck yeah, guys. I'm debating. I'm trying to make another pass or put the bottle in and maybe bump it a couple times in third gear on the back side of the track. I don't know, guys. I'm thinking about doing it. I really want to do the nines on just the blower, but I don't think we have cool enough air. Um, the DA right now, we're about 500. So we're half we're half as much as we were, were, we were last trip, but it's, it's not as cold as I thought it was going to be today, but it is better. Obviously, it's better because we're heavier and we still went faster. So, so yeah. So question is, do we keep pushing it on the blower um, or do we wait for a better cooler day and try to go nines on the, on just the, the TS-84 blower or do we just mash the button a couple times to get that nine today? I don't know. I'm kind of impatient. I'm thinking about doing it. So let's see. I don't know. I think I'm going to put a 35 jet in it and just, and just see, just hit it for... Hit it for like a second out the back door and just see what happens. So I don't know. Stay tuned. All right, Mopar fam, we got Zorro about to make the first lick today. Also, this will be my son's first time on this tune. This is just a basic '93 tune from FRP. First tune. We haven't even cleaned it up. It hasn't been revised. So I'm sure it's going to be a little dirty and uh, can only get better from here. So stay tuned. Let's see if we can get him to do a proper burnout. <clears throat> yeah, that that side ain't running. Five, isn't it? Yeah. So Zorro just ran a 13.05. So we're basement flat 13s on Zorro on the first pass. Burnout wasn't very good. But yeah, we'll try it again because I suspect I suspect that car is probably going to pick up a little bit quicker as we keep running it today. So we may see a 12 out of that car today. So let's see, uh, we'll see what the log looks like, see what he says about the car, and it dead hooks, so we may put some more air in the back tires too. So stay tight, we're going to get Frostbite ready again to go make another lick. See what we got, because it was kind of sketchy on the board, but I'm pretty, pretty sure I know what it was. You're so close. <laughs> What's the ticket say? 1305? Yeah. 106? That's more than a mile an hour. Oh yeah, she's almost there. What the heck is that? Almost there. All right, so. I think if you could have got a better burnout. So we had 28 in the back tires and yeah. it dead hooked, even though this tire ain't doing nothing in the burnout box. What? It's nothing. It spins for a second. That so. battery, you might be on the brake too much. Well, you might be holding the brake too much. You might be holding the brake too much on it, but 
So let's raise this tire pressure. Let's go up to try 35. Let's try 35. Let's just jump to 35 and see if it'll hook and roll out better on the back end. All right, Mopar fam. Well, we didn't hit a nine today. We tried. We tried really hard, but we did at least beat our personal best by a scotch. So our new personal best is the 10088. And the mile per hour didn't read out because their system was down. But I want to, I'll have to look at the drag and see what the drag he said on that. I, I want to say it was around the 132 mark, somewhere in there. Um, second pass out, actually, third pass out. So the second pass out, <clears throat> we went back out. Track was terrible. Uh, trans brake launched it, didn't change anything. We did the same thing we did the first pass, and it blew, annihilated the tires. So we just rolled the track the rest of the way. Third pass out, they reprepped the track, and it it was doo-doo. Like, it was still doo-doo. So, I knew at this point, watching everybody else, there was no way I was gonna hook on the trans brake and get the same 60 foot that we got the first time. So, I foot braked it, tried to just leave off the converter, and as soon as I, as soon as I did that and started getting in the gas pedal, like, I, the tire started to spin. I let out a little bit, got back in it, so I knew we were not gonna run our personal best, but what I will say is at least we did learn something. So on that pass, I did put my nitrous bottle in and we put a 35 jet in it. And when we got in the third gear, as soon as I got in the third gear, we flipped on the nitrous kit and I ran it out the back door. So even doing that with the terrible 60 foot, because on that pass, we had a 1.909 60 foot, which is, which is horrendous for, for me. And we did 10, 7, 1070. We did a 1070 at 132.88, um, which ain't bad for, like I said, we were spinning. And not leaving off the trans brake, not leaving on boost, just terrible. But what we did learn is the truck took 21, 22 pounds of boost with a 35 shot of nitrous out the back door. So, if we cannot get better weather than this the next time out and get a nine without the nitrous bottle, then I know we can get that nine with that nitrous because that little 35 shot, when I turned on the switch, I could hear the motor pick up a lot. I mean, it, it, you could hear it go, Wow, like you hear it pick up. It was definitely picking up. Um, so nine's no problem with the same setup we have running a little 35 shot of nitrous at our race weight. But I want to try to do it without the nitrous. Um, so we'll see. We will see. But at least we did learn a little bit. We went a little faster today. Storm got its personal best today also. My son just got back from his last pass also. Didn't get to 12, he's so close. He got another 1305, guys. But that's the first track outing on the first uh, FRP 93 tune. So we'll send that log and uh, I'm sure Ryan can clean it up and probably turn the car up a little bit more so we can get it into the 12s. And uh, we'll see what happens on the next time for that one too. But yeah, Project Storm did really good. So you did what, 12, seven something? 12, best seven, eight, one. <clears throat> so yeah, Project Storm did good. Fastest pass we had on Project Storm today was a 12, seven, was a 12, seven, eight, five. So definitely the best it's ever done. Um, Cause we've been stuck dead at 13s with that truck all of last year, basically. So. Finally, we can get it into the 12s. Feels good. And uh, maybe a few more tweaks. We can get it maybe mid 12s and go from there. But yeah, guys, we're close. We're close. We're so close. So our first pass, we're in the right lane. And that's the one where the, the timing system messed up the mile an hour. But we had the best 60 foot we've ever had. 1388. 10.088 basement flat tens guys we're like right there at a nine and then our next best pass where we did not trans brake launch it um we're in the left lane over here you can see our 60 foot horrendous 
uh, spinning plus no boost plus we're not able to run uh, you know leave on boost um, but we did spray it from third gear to the traps so we did end up with a 1070 at 132.88 you know the nitrous don't really tell us a whole lot besides it took the 20 one two 22 pounds of boost and a little bit of nitrous for a minute and didn't blow up <laughs> so uh we got that right so hang tight guys we'll get it again hopefully and uh we'll get that nine definitely want to give john copa thanks uh best 60 foot we've had today on his trans brake and his transmission that is absolutely awesome frp big thanks to him the truck lives another day to go race again uh, which is just, you know, honestly, that's amazing. Torque Storm Superchargers, well, we're boosting, right? That's all I got to say. That supercharger is making some air. So that's going to do it for today, guys. Stay tuned. We'll try to uh, get out again, maybe in a little bit better weather than we had today. And uh, hope we get that nine. Stay safe out there. We'll see you guys on the next one.